Welcome to our review all about the reaction time. Now, the first thing we're going to look at here then, quite simply, is what the reaction time actually is. So, when we're talking about the reaction time, what we're talking about is the time it takes between a reaction starting and that same reaction coming to an end. One of the things that they could ask you on your exam paper is what's an example of a slow reaction and what's an example of a fast reaction. Now our slow reactions are something that takes a long time to occur and the best example of that one is rusting. If you are looking for a fast reaction that's one that's going to happen very quickly and the examples there would be things like burning or explosions. What we find then is that the reaction just keeps going until one of the reactants has been used up. So what we'll find with an example like our magnesium in acid, then the acid is in excess, which means we've got more than enough there, but the magnesium will be the first thing to actually disappear. So we've used up all of our magnesium, therefore the reaction comes to an end. 